Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Matt. This plays XCOM Enemy Unknown. So, uh, it's only been a few, you know, probably a day or two for you guys since the last episode. For, for me, it's been a while. Um, well, I'm sorry. It's been, uh, minutes. So, <laughs> excuse me while I die a little bit on the inside. So, we have a conundrum. Oh, cool. What's going on, guys? The alien just kind of chilling. Why do we still have that guy? So, we can go check out, uh, what we got going on here. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, just chatting, med bay. So we got what, two people in the med bay right now? Do we? Yeah, we have what, two people in the med bay? That's not bad. I didn't know we could scroll in like this. Let's take a look at everybody. These people we know, though. Are these our soldiers? I'm curious. I think they are, because that's me right there, the sniper. All right. So we have we're in a predicament. We're low on money. We have about a month, uh huh, a month before our satellites are ready. Which is basically, we, which means we have to, somehow, keep a lot of these countries kind of within our, our grasp before they kind of pull out of the XCOM project. Because we don't, we definitely don't want that to happen. Um, so I mean really, we, the only option we have right now is to kind of hope that these days go by relatively, uh, so what do we got? We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. The We've got Japan. are marked on the hollow globe. We've got Japan, Moscow, which is Russia, and South Africa. Can we go look? We got Japan, Russia, and South Africa. Japan, Russia, and South Africa. So Russia, Japan, and where's South? Okay, so we're gonna lose close to all of them. We're gonna we have to pick one. What do they give us? That's what I want to know. Um, is there a way to look? We can launch. Here we go. So South Africa, they will give us eighty bucks per month and an en and one engineer every month. An engineer is good. Japan is two engineers per month and two and a hundred dollars per month, so they're better. And then Russia will give us um, two scientists per month and one hundred and fifty dollars. I think right now Japan is going to be our choice. I think we're going to go to Japan and try to bring their worry down. <clears throat> So we're gonna get four engineers from Japan. Everybody's like, basically just some some people. So we're confirming Japan. <clears throat> All right. Before we go anywhere, we gotta re-equip some people. Edit unit. Customize your loadout. We've got a laser sniper rifle for you. Um, we have anything else? Alien grenade. What? Where'd that come from? And a pistol. Plasma pistol. We don't. We have. We can't use yet. Okay, that's fine. Why do we have carapace armor? I thought we had everybody with carapace armor already. Uh, edit unit, who's this? This is Rage. We're gonna change his loadout a little bit. He's gonna get his scatter laser. And he already has carapace armor on, so that's good. Oh, is Trilby out? We're gonna get rid of clear unit. Is Trilby back and ready for action? No. Trilby and Romeo are out still, so. It looks like we're going to have to use a rookie. Well, we're going to Japan. Bring Naoki here. Um, Scriblon. I think we have another. Uh, we do not. Not right now. We don't anyway. I'm going to give you another scope, though. I'm going to give you a scope. Uh, let's see. Rage has his. Jorshik. Um, you currently have, what, the big heavy thing? You, yeah, we don't have the heavy laser yet. It's being researched. Quinn, I don't want to bring you because you're another sniper. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of you, Quinn, and bring somebody else. It's going to be a rookie. Alex Young, we'll bring him. I'd rather bring two rookies than another sniper, honestly. I think we're looking good here. Uh, let's lock and load. It's going to be very hard, and we're bringing two rookies. I would not be surprised if we lose a rookie or two uh, on this mission. In fact, yeah, I, I almost guarantee we're going to lose somebody. I will be impressed if we don't. So here we are. We're rising, arriving at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's land. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We've picked right. up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Let's do this. Bringing a rookie is not necessarily a bad idea, so... Alright. Rage. Copy, Big Sky. 
Strike one is clear to engage. Move you up first. I've got a visual. Got a visual already. Alright, let's see where they end up going. He can't even see him anymore, so I don't want to move Rage up yet. We gotta be careful. Jorshik. Move you. Uh, also gonna keep you on Overwatch. Alright. Who's this? Is this Rookie? Rookie Young? Um, we are gonna move you. I kinda wanna get Mathis up here. But for now, we can't. Rookie, rookie, rookie. Let's move you out on the long side here. I'm trying to get some visual here. Kojima! Let's go, man. Moving you way up. Give, you, give us some visual here. No good either way. So we're going to move Mathis into full cover. And we're going to move Scriblon into partial cover. Scriblon, hunker down, please. Mathis, also hunker down. And we'll give the aliens their turn. So they're going to come out. He's going to take a shot. And we did take three damage, though, at least from the other guy. He's on Overwatch. That's fine. I don't know where he's going. Just going to jump forward a little bit. All right, so this is going to give our chance, our rookie a chance to get some action. We're gonna have him take the first shot. We're gonna have him get the kill. Uh, yeah, we'll get him. We'll have him take the kill. Give him some experience. Worth it for the rookie. So that's good. All right. So we got Mathis here. Um, we'll have Mathis take the shot. He's got. I mean, if he misses, I'm gonna cry. Laser sniper. Good shooting. Good stuff. Alright, Rage, we're going to move you up, bud. Uh, I think we're going to have to swing out this way. So we will move out this way. Slowly. I kind of want to keep you on the front lines. You're kind of just with my front lines guy. Let's move you first. I don't mind having you rush forward either, because you have lightning reflexes. Mathis. You can't go anywhere yet. This is the rookie. We'll have him moving up. To here. Get some visual. There we go. Three more floaters. Floaters don't. They're, they're not that big of a deal, in my opinion. Jorshik. We'll move you out this way. Alright, can Mathis hit them? I mean, the other sniper hit them from here. She can. Um, she has. Yeah, we'll hit the one that she can definitely potentially hit. Wish she would have critted there. Didn't want to burn the headshot, though. Alright, now we're going to definitely end up taking some damage here, I think. Yep, here we go. Misses the rookie, that's good. Bursts down some cover, but we still have partial cover now. Whoa! Definitely going to hit the rookie. It says miss, though. No, he's definitely getting... Oh, Jesus! Alright, rookie's going down. He had one mission. It's unfortunate, he had a kill, too. Whoa, unless this guy's going all the way over here. No support sucks, too. I really am not a fan of that. So, Rookie, we're going to have you kill him off. Taken care of. Definitely going to have you take him. Um, so, what do we got here? Mathix can hit that guy, but he can also hit that guy. We'll try to kill this guy with, uh, with these guys. So, we got Kojima here. He can definitely take the shot. What's his percentage? He can hit 64%. Or he can move up to here and hopefully hit him a bit, bit closer. 73. Alright, he did some damage there. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him for that. Jorshik, what about you, man? Can you kill him from here is the question. Um, we'll move you a little closer, Jorshik. Then we'll have you take the shot. So you got, he's flanked now, but we're going to try and have you kill this guy. Hollow targeting. Um, Mathis, kill the guy who's flanked. That's what I want you to do. I'm trying to pin him down. Oh, that was close. I thought you were going to have that for sure. So, Rage, we'll go to you in a second, man. Scriblon needs to finish him off. He's down. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Good job, Scribble. Good shooting, son. Alright, if we move you up here first, because we're going to, we're definitely going to have you trying to take take the aggression off. You have an 86% chance to hit. We're going to have you take the shot. Whoa, Thin Men. That's not good. I wish I could have seen them earlier. Why do they get... Uh, cutscene means they're going to get a free move and they're going to go back up for whatever reason. Alright, so... Mathis is going to get a couple shots, but before we do that... We're going to, um... She also gets a few shots, which is good. We're going to move... We're going to move him up here. What are, you, what are you looking at here? 58, 42. Take the shot. Awesome shooting. Okay. George Sheik, we're just going to move you up. Even if it means you don't necessarily hit. Scriblon, same with you. We're just going to move you up. Uh, Young, we're going to back you off a little bit. I don't necessarily want you to die. And then we'll put you on Overwatch. Mathis, you're going to take the shot. You're going to take the shot. You got this. Good. Nice shot. Alright, so. We have cleared the area. Time to start moving forward a little bit. Slowly but surely, start moving forward. So Mathis needs to get in the high ground. We're going to slowly start moving Mathis up. Okay, Rage. You first, man. Move up. We're going to try and clear the top over here first. Okay, good. It's clear up here. Jorshik. I would love to put you there, but that's in the, that's in the middle of poison. So I'll put you over here. Alright, we can see some mutons now, but we have the high ground advantage at least. So this is awkward. Last you saw, there were some mutons on the screen, and now we're in India with a different squad. I have a little bit of explaining to do. I wasn't paying attention to my hard drive and it filled up. And it stopped and it cut recording and I didn't realize it. So, just a quick rehash in that mission that you guys were watching, we survived. Everybody survived. A few of the rookies got promoted. People are looking good. I'm going to go over what I did in the base when we get back. Just so you know, we are currently on an uh, alien abduction mission in India where we are trying to take care of whatever's out here. And that's where we are. I'm so sorry about that. That's never going to happen again. But, you know, before we... Honestly, you guys didn't miss too much outside of that one mission um, and, and, a, and a botched attempt to shoot down a big UFO. That's it. Uh, we didn't lose any uh, interceptors or anything in the process. We just were not able to shoot it down. So... We are going to play from here on out. I th think what we're doing right now is attempting to take out some... Is there a way to look at your mission objectives? Abort mission, we can abort. Alright, so... Yeah, this is... Uh, Alright, cool. So, we're going to move on from here. We're just going to take it from here. Now, it looks like there's a rooftop over here I would like to get my sniper on top of. Rage, though, is over here as well, and I want to make sure he gets some building cover. And I'm going to use Rage first because he is our main man as far as... There we go. So, our main man as far as being, like, front of the line. So here we go. It looks like they are going to start charging immediately. Um, who do we have here? This is Trilby. Can we... We could potentially stun one of these. I don't think we've taken one of these alive yet, and I think we might attempt it. Uh, Trilby is going to sit over here for now. And we are going to have Rage attempt to take one down. Uh, he's, he is flanking this one. 100% chance to hit, so we're just obviously going to take the shot. And it's just going to take him out. We have a laser shotgun now. We have a lot of laser weapons in our squad. I don't know if you guys saw that or not from last time, but uh, we do. Uh, and, and it's really, really, really nice. So we got Jorshik here, our heavy weapons expert. We're going to move him up just a little bit. We may try to flank on the inside, but for now we're going to move him up to the truck. I want him to make sure the outside is completely covered from any potential invasion. Scriblon, I don't know if we can actually get to the roof from here. So Scriblon, Scriblon and Mathis are going to be a little bit of a question as to what we're going to do with them. Um, Baldwin is going to stay here. He's back in. He's all healed up now, which is good. I'm happy about that. And Mathis, Mathis, Mathis. I think we're going to move him up to here as well. And we'll have him hunker down. And Scriblon, I th think, 
Oh yeah, he has a disabling shot now. Uh, he did upgrade. Scriblon did upgrade. I think we're gonna move Scriblon. I don't know what we're gonna do with him. We might just do nothing with Scriblon, honestly. I prefer not to do that, but we'll just have him on Overwatch. Trilby, Overwatch, my friend. Baldwin, Overwatch. We're gonna make sure everybody gets their time to shine. Now these guys we gotta worry a little bit about. He's gonna take a shot. He's gonna blow down the wall, I think. Oh my good god. They shot her through the wall? Scriblon, no! No way! Scriblon's down. Oh man. How'd they shoot her through the wall? How'd they see her? Alright, Rage, time to exact some revenge. Actually, we're gonna have to move Trilby in here as well. Uh, Rage, you up. You're up, buddy. You got some of revenge to take care of. We're gonna take out. I mean, they're both 100% chance to hit. We'll take out the one that's just sitting here. Dead and gone. Now, this one we need to worry a little bit about. Oh, I can't, I'm still. I can't believe that happened. We'll move him over here. Baldwin, stick over here for now and hunker down. Mathis, Overwatch, Overwatch. I'm so mad we lost Scriblon. That sucks. They're trying to pull back. All right, they're coming out here now. They gotta take a shot at who though? Oh shit! All right, all right. We gotta be careful. So, before we do anything, Rage has to be the first one to get his hands dirty. So, what are the chances to stun? 49% chance to stun. Just take the shot, man. Light him up. Stun failed. Lot of good that did. Can't do it again. Um, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um... Well, let's see what we can do. We might have just try and end it here. Yeah, I don't want to lose uh, Trilby. I can't lose Trilby. Play it safe and just kill him. I think that's probably the best bet. Okay, so what's up there? We're going to send our heavy up first. Because if we can get Mathis up here, we're going to have a hell of an advantage. That's for sure. Alright, everything looks really safe so far. Um, I would like to send him over here so we can heal up uh, Trilby once he has the opportunity to. Mathis, now we're going to get you up top. We want to get you up top. Can't lose you, man. You're too damn important right now. Alright, so here they come. So we're going to move Mathis over here. Uh, we're actually going to move him over here too. Can't see anything. Mathis, we're going to move you. I've got a visual. There we go, we got a visual on them now. So Mathis can't do anything, but he might if he can see him, which he can. So we're going to take a shot here. So he's getting some hollow targeting on him, but that's about it. Alright, so first up is going to be... I'm gonna move you here and have you heal up, Trilby. Come on, time to cowboy up. Cowboy up, Trilby. Be a man, bro. Okay, Mathis, you're gonna hunker down. Rage, you're in a bad, bad, bad spot right here. We could move you here and just have you take this guy out, which you could probably do because you're badass. So we're gonna probably do that. We wanna keep you nice and close. And you can just kill this guy off. Loving it. Absolutely Ammo loving it. Out. Trilby, we're gonna move you in because you're kind of his you're kind of his wingman here. You guys are like partners in my eyes. Just how you guys work. So we're gonna swing you on the inside. Put your back up to the wall. Okay, here we go. Loving it. He automatically gets that shot now. Wow, that was a little weird weird physics. That not shouldn't that shouldn't have happened that way. 
Alright, here he goes. He's shooting. Missing, I think. Which is good. We got another one, I think, though. Whoop! Where's he going? Other side of the building. Oh, shit. That's not good. Hopefully, that takes his entire turn. Alright, so Mathis is going to get an easy shot here. We're obviously going to take the guy up top. Alright. So, next, Rage, who are you being flanked by? You are actually being flanked pretty heavily. So we need to move you and then have you reload. Uh, I'm going to move you to here. And then have you reload. Ready to engage. So who can you see? Him, can we get you down on the ground floor? Doesn't look like it's going to cost you a dash either, so we're definitely going to get you on the ground floor. Whoa, you're surrounded. Alright, things are getting a little rough really quickly. So you can absolutely kick this guy's ass. Not that guy, but we definitely want to... Alright, we got to be careful. 100% kill him off. So we need to be... We're in a lot of trouble. Trilby, you got, what, a 59% chance to hit this guy? You're being flanked as well. Um, we'll move you... Baldwin, we're going to move you first. Just back a space. Just get you out of the flanking position. And have you take a shot. You have a laser rifle now. So that works. No, it did not. Trilby, your turn. Bust through the window. Kind of kick some ass. Good. Got him. Alright, now we run into a little bit of trouble here. Not quite sure who's moving where. Here comes a couple of shots. We might. I don't want to lose Jorshik. I will freaking piss myself if we lose him. Good, we didn't. Um, we are going... Can Mathis take the shot? He's got 100% chance. Yeah, we'll take him the shot. Awesome. Good shooting text. So, before Rage goes, it's your turn. You're going to peek around the corner, because we know he's right there. And you're going to take the shot. So right in his face. Shoot him down. So, we lost... We killed 10. We lost... We lost one, and that's just super, super, super unfortunate. Because it was Scriblon, our second best sniper, next to Mathis. Which is really, really sucky. Cherubly's going back in the... Alright, so. We had to choose one. We had to lose, uh, not lose Germany, but we had to put him... We had to put them behind in our, in our options here. So we're going to show you what I did before I uh, wrap up this episode. Um, and explain what you might have missed. Good mission, fellas. Good mission. Alright. So, killed in action. Trilby's out for four days. Not a big deal. Um, Rage leveled up. He got extra conditioning. Confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavy armor increases bonus. Good. Jorshi got uh, upgraded. He's either going to have Shredder Rocket, Fire Rocket that causes all enemies to hit to take 30, plus 32% 30 damage from all sources for the next four turns. Or Suppression. Can fire a special style that grants reaction fire at a single target. It's also minus 30 aim. So he can, he can do Suppression Fire or Shredder Rocket. I think I'll give him suppression fire. I think he's going to be our kind of our, our machine gunning guy. And then Baldwin leveled up again, which is awesome. He's got dense smoke, or he has combat drugs. Smoke grenades now contain powerful stimulants that grant plus 20, plus 20 will and 10% critical chance. Or smoke grenades have increased area of effect and further increased units. I like the stimulant drug. You're a drug guy. Which is pretty awesome. Alright, so we got some corpses. Not a big deal. North America went up. The reason I ignored North America, I'll show you. We'll be watching. So, we have the council report in five days. We're going to probably play it out to then. I'm going to come in here and show you what happened. So I launched some satellites. I got one in the U.S., um, and I put two more in the, in, the uh, in Europe. I put one in Russia and one in the United Kingdom. Russia was pretty much in red like Germany is right now. I would love to get Germany a satellite. It might not necessarily happen. South Africa kind of had to let go because their bonus wasn't all that great. So Nigeria and South Africa have, have become low priority. Um, if they leave the XCOM project and are taken over by aliens, it's so be it. I can't do anything about it. I'm going to have to let them go. Right now, my focus is on Europe, trying to keep them up, and the uh, United States, as well as everything else I've been working on. Um, it has definitely jumped our funds, but we need those funds to come in very shortly because we're actually pretty much out of money. Um, we have some research going on. We have operations over uh, the, the satellites are going to launch in four days. Um, and then we'll be looking good. And then we have two requests from North America. The requests are power sources, of which we don't have any to give up right now. So we can't really help them there. 
heading into research. Uh, they actually, it's we're researching Illyrium, whatever that does. Morning, now, what I would like to do to have more help down here. is get um, a foundry and something else, which I can't remember. I wish I could look at the buildings I could build right now. Wish I could. I also need to get a skeleton suit. We have skeleton suits for everybody. Um, we can pump them out, hopefully relatively shortly. And I have yet to actually... Oh, and I actually want to buy ships as well. I need to purchase ships for Europe. I'd like to get one more in Europe. I need to purchase upgrades for ships, which is going to cost some money. Um, pri primarily, what can I get here? Laser cannons. Um, these super cool laser cannons can take down most alien crap, but they have limited range requirements. So we got to have these. Phoenix cannons. Um, matrix defense stuff. Floater adaptive technology, our satellite systems, blah, 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 satellite, yeah. So I kind of want to get some laser cannons on our ships. I think that's the next step because they are not doing enough damage, unfortunately. So we're going to hope for the next five days are, are pretty much easy going all the way around. Um, I kind of need them to be, to be honest. All right. Among many of the scientists, uh, the scientific community, we, they want four floater corpses. We get five scientists, I'll take it. Take it, I'll take the five scientists. So the council report is in one day. What do we have? Council report and the lyrium, almost done. So let's go, council report. Let's do it. Hello, Commander. Much to our regret, okay. a number of council members have recently withdrawn their So we lost South Africa and Germany. Well, which... we are disappointed to have lost their support. The remaining council members remain committed to the XCOM project. Okay, so our first loss is... You've done an admirable job in combating the alien threat over the course of this past month, Commander. However, we still believe there is room for improvement in your efforts. So, alright, now that we lost Germany, Europe is out. We can't cover all of Europe. Um, I'm gonna have to focus on... North America, try to get full satellite coverage here, and try to keep Europe under control. I would like them, because if we start losing these funds, that's not going to go we on. We will be in touch, Commander. So, what are we going to end up doing now? We have a lot of money, and let's make some decisions before we call it for this episode. Illyrium's going to be done in a couple days. What I want... The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Is... Actually, okay, before we do that... Let's go to the hangar. We need to purchase interceptor. Um, for them, I want one more interceptor in Europe. So I'll have one interceptor in North America, one in Europe. Um, I don't think we need anything in Africa right now. But potentially, I would love one more here as well. So f we're losing a good chunk of money. Okay. Right, that's gonna happen. I did that right. Yeah, three days, three days, three days. Uh, let me go to the situation room real quick. I just wanna take a look at our satellite coverage. So South Africa, Germany are out. I need to get some satellite coverage over here as well. Um, so I think the next thing is some facilities. I'd like to... Um, let's see. I think we need to start excavating, essentially. Excavate. Um, excavate. Get these two excavated for now. We need to start building. Build another access lift. How much is that? 50 bucks? Yeah, just get the start building down. Okay, we need to. Okay. Items. We need to equip our ships a little bit better right now. I think our soldiers are pretty well off. Um, these super cooled laser cannons can take down most alien craft, but they have limited range, requiring the intercept to be close to non-style targets. We'll get four of them up. Okay. Let's go to the hangar. Can when we... selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. 24 hours till it's ready, because we're getting these in. Okay. Uh, we're going to also do the same thing here. We want to do the same thing in Europe. Whoops. 
We want to clear the ship loadout as well, give it a laser cannon. And then once the one in North America lands, we'll do the same thing there. So I think that'll be good. Um, we are going to check out the memorial real quick. Scriblon, 10 kills, 6 missions. So sad. So sad. Um, we're going to hire a couple soldiers. I'll send it out for two. And I would like to, once this is done, um, potentially add another alien containment. But once this is excavated, this we can build in, this we can build in. Uh, let's take a look at... Let's just kind of try and make sh this next few days go by. Contact detected. Nope. UFO over France. Large scout. So... Uh, I think this is where we're going to call the episode. We will take care of this next time on Mathis Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Did you like this video? Did you enjoy my commentary? Hell, do you just like to make fun of me? Well, then I would super appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button right above the video, and even threw me a like if you liked the video. Hell, if you dislike the video, make sure you hit that dislike button. All feedback is welcome. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at MathisStarCraft, or on Facebook, which the link will be below, but just in case you're lazy, it is facebook.com slash MathisGames. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.